Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now it's not every day that you get to open a box with your own knife prototypes, but today is one of those days. And it's actually been a while, it's been a little bit over a year since we first looked at my original prototype for the TFK T17. Now, since we took a look at this, a lot of things have moved forward and progressed. Not so much changed, but I would say evolved. So after my prototype, we got into my production runs at this point, having a number of different design elements, the ability to take one of these TFK T17s and really customize the build to your exact liking. So whether or not you choose finger choils, jimping, no jimping, no choils, sharpened spine, unsharpened spine, different handle materials, there are a lot of different options here. And I'm at it again with the brothers at Tanev Family Knives. So TFK getting to work and really taking these knives now to the next level. So here I have a box with some prototypes. TFK T17 prototypes. Now we are going to look at these, but if you want to see them, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so as I mentioned here in my hands, a box with some TFK T17 prototypes. Now, there is something very important worth mentioning. For any of my pre-existing customers, they purchased a TFK T17. Well, that is no longer the name of this knife. This knife here is the TFK T17.6. So dot six being the six inch version of the TFK T17. Well, if that's the case, then what is inside this box? Well, maybe there's a T17.5 and a T17.4. So if you go into my original philosophy about the T17 project, it's the idea that you can get one of these knives in whatever configuration you want. So taking it to the next level, not just having the overall, I would say, uh, features on the blade, but now the size. So whether you want a 6 inch, 5 inch, 4 inch blade or all these other great features, it will be available to you. So let's get into this box for the first time. I have not even seen these, so we are going to open this up and check them out together. And so now, as we get into this here, I think it's only fitting if I use my original T17 prototype. So carefully open this up and check it out. All right, so, so I slide these aside. Getting into this here, everything from TFK always very nicely packaged up, good and careful. So a couple little things here, a couple medium things here. Bada bing, bada boom. And what I have is some different options. So again, going with the philosophy that you can take this TFK T17 and configure it however you like. So here being the full six inch model, the T17.6, and moving now into the T17.5. So your dot five models, there are actually a couple of options. Now I'm not sure which is which, but the only way to tell is just to get into this. So as I open this up, and I can already start to tell you that this is the T17.5L. So as I mentioned, trying to come up with configurations that work specific to the user. Not everybody has the same likes. Not everybody has the same style and hands and intended needs or use. So for me, creating a knife that has some variety is going to really work out very well for the user. So here, unsheathing the T17.5L. And what L stands for is long handle. If you look, this is the full length of the T17.6 handle. So a full length handle giving you the full 
purchase full overall lay length on that handle for either larger hands or even better some chopping use now i can tell you already at feeling this it does have a lot more nimble of a feel than the six which is already a very nimble blade but the other thing that we have now added if you look here you will see the acid stonewash finish on the six inch version this is just a tumbled finish on the 5L. So really now adding an additional finish. So whether or not you want the hand sanded satin finish, the acid stone wash, or the tumbled finish, now adding not only variety in the handle length, the blade length, but a new additional finish. So here, the T17.5L. And so this T17.5L shown here with Voodoo resin handle scales. This is the color Stargazer with the toxic green liners. Just a beautiful look. Absolutely magnificent. And I can tell you already, this blade just feels amazing. Super nimble in the hand. Nicely weighted. Very well balanced. And overall, I think this is going to be an excellent performer. And so moving on, I do have a couple other options here in the 5-inch version. So as long as I'm careful here, here you will see this is the T17.5. So standard length handle, not the long handle, but a standard length handle. So here you can see this is in the satin finish. This is the original prototype sheath. There will be some minor modifications being made to this, but so far, so good. Beautiful look. Belt option, dangler option. So a number of different options on the sheath. We'll get to that in a minute. But again, this here being the T17.5. So as we compare here, the T17.5 and T17.5L, this being the standard length, this being the long length handle. So again, depending on your needs and what you're trying to do, you have some different options. So again, taking this to the next level, trying to add functionality and versatility for the exact specific build quality the user is looking for. Now the T17.5 having, again, just a real nice balanced and nimble feel. This is just awesome. I mean, that feels great in the hand. Same sort of ergonomics as on the full 6-inch version. So depending on what type of cut you're trying to make different grips nice and comfortable stabbing this is going to work well chest pulls food prep tasks and things like that so number of different grips on this handle and feels really good in this sort of uh, I'd say shorter version than the long but either way very balanced and feel excellent in the hands now here you can see the satin finish this is just a standard spine, still a little bit sharp. These guys do a nice job with the spine, feels good. We'll definitely do some striking, uh, but the standard spine's not overly sharp, but still do some good scraping tasks if you need. A little bit softer on your thumb, and just a standard black G10 here. Uh, again, these will be offered with all the different options, whether or not you want the wood mosaic scales, you want D2, N690, a number of different options. This one here is the D2 in a satin finish. So I will be offering a number of different steel choices. Um, we are going to be experimenting, hopefully in the future, with some additional steels. At the current time, as of right now on this video, uh, D2, so European Standard 1.2379, um, and also the Bowler N690 are the current choices. But again, here, just in that G10, you can also get the Voodoo Resins or the Mosaic Wood Wayne Walker scales. And now, as mentioned, popping this open. Here again, a full-size handle. So going back to the original roots, I wanted to make a prototype with the exact same finishes that I have on my original T17 prototype. So here, the T17.6 original prototype, and here, the T17.5. So having a matching set so that in the future, I just have myself my original prototypes with the same finishes. This particular knife here, you can see with that sharpened squared off spine, just ridiculous 
ridiculously sharp. I mean, that does have the ability to seriously scrape some bark or shower some sparks right off a ferro rod. So here you have it lined up here, the T17.5 lineup. So the prototypes here coming to me for the first time so you can see the difference between the T17.6s and the T17.5s. So just again, adding the functionality and versatility. And right now with the T17.5s, we do not currently have a finger choil, but I can tell you if enough people ask for it, we will absolutely make sure that we can add the finger choil on the five inch version as well. And so now that leaves these T17.4 models. So the idea being, well, this is your nice little EDC companion blade. And the first thing you'll notice is a little lanyard. If you would like, this can certainly be a nice neck carry. So the ability to uh, carry this on your neck, if you so choose, little belt carry here, if you want it on your hip, a uh, number of different ways to go about it. But as we slide this out of the leather, Ba boom you can see here wow this is awesome look at that so the t17.4 now it's not a full four inch cutting edge but the t17.4 being that little edc blade that little companion knife that you just have with you at all times thick enough that you can do some good sturdy work. You could definitely pound this down through some logs if you had to, do some batoning and some good hard use, but small enough and light enough that it just stays at your side. So there are a few things that I wanna point out. First is, again, keeping in mind this is the original prototype design. Now we have already identified that there is just this tiny little hot spot here in the palm. So the full production model, this will be rounded out. That's the first thing. So as you look, indexing this in the hands, it does feel nice, but we thought we could do just a little better if we round that off. So the final production model, this here will be just rounded out on the backside. However, this does give you essentially a full four finger grip on this nice small knife. So you should be able to do some good hard use, feathers and carving and even some skinning and food prep. This is gonna be a do it all companion knife for you, small enough, light enough that it just fits in the palm of your hand so nicely, but thick enough and stout enough to do some real good, serious hard work. And the final knife here, as I slide this out, Again, a second T17.4, but this one here in the satin finish. So again, offering these in both the stone wash finish, so the acid stone wash, the actual straight up tumbled finish, if you would like, square spine, unsharpened spine, satin finish, tumbled finish, different handles, G10 liners, Everything that you can get in the other blades, you are also going to be able to get in this T17.4. So again, even though it's the T17.4, it is a three and a half inch cutting edge. Just a nice, fine little package. This thing feels awesome. I am psyched about that. Just gives you enough to get that fourth finger on there for some good hard work. Now my intent is to add a little pinky lanyard there to give you the additional purchase on the knife, but generally speaking, you don't necessarily need that. This is gonna give you a good four finger grip on a fairly nice size blade. Small enough that it's compact, light, but stout enough it can do some good hard field work. And now again, just getting into some of the details, as you can see here, very nicely done. TFK does a beautiful job with their leather work. These guys are really, really improving. I mean, they have me very impressed and that's why I continue to work with them. That's why as a team, we continue to grow together because both TFK as well as myself, to be honest, we just want perfection. We want to grow. We want to improve. We want to put across the highest possible quality for our customers. And as you look here, their leather work is just beautiful. All the attention to detail, 
little drainage hole gorgeous welt i mean just beautifully done perfectly matched and sanded nicely dyed the stitching work is clean and just everything from the little details that chamfering you see on the strap to the wet forming the dangle capability as well as a nice belt carry their leather work is just beautiful and of course that's not just the case for the t17.5 but the t17.4 as well so a good versatile package and if you look at this particular sheath it will be good for right hand or left hand carry so ambidextrous gives you some options depending on what exactly you're looking for you can carry it on your neck you can carry it on your belt again just being a good quality and versatile setup but all the same features, nicely welted, nicely stitched, the dye just beautiful. These will be available in both brown and black, depending on your liking. And as always, we offer right hand and left hand carries. So for a sheath in its dedicated right hand configuration here, we will have left hand available for all customers. So no matter what your needs, whether you want a six inch blade, a five inch blade with a long handle, five inch blade with a short handle, or that three and a half inch cutting edge on the T17.4, you cannot go wrong. There are options in all of these T17s for everybody and everybody's given needs. And so now I know people are gonna ask, well, what about price? Bottom line is, at the end of the day, these are only as good pricing wise as the cost of materials today. It is obviously something that's commodity based, so pricing can vary. Now the good news is, what I can tell you is, since we developed the T17.6, we have been able to hold pricing very steady with no changing in our price scheme. Um, however, uh, I want this video to be timeless, so I am not going to price these and quote you prices here today if you're interested in a t17 build whether the t17.6 5 or 4 any of the materials all subject to change so just reach out to me directly outer limitless at gmail.com if you like one of these knives again outer limitless at gmail.com and so each one of these knives whether it's the t17.6 5 or 4 will be serial numbered so just like the t17.6 build each and every one of these having a unique serial number and if any one of my existing customers are watching today for the short term and i'm saying very short term like probably a month from airing this video or less if my existing customers do reach out to me i will actually match their serial number so if they have a t17.6 and they want matching serial numbers for the t17.5 and t17.4 i will absolutely do that so for my existing customers please reach out to me and i will note your serial number i already have it in a log and i'll make sure that i get matching serial numbers for you but for everybody else i know there is an option here for you so all right guys there you have it a look at the t17 family the t17.6.5 and dot four always looking to expand and grow and bring these knives to the next level for the user so that you get exactly what you want so obviously like i said right now there are just a couple of things that aren't quite available with the t17.5 like for example if you want a finger choil if enough of you want it no problem we will make that happen don't worry about that if you want a knife with a full cutting edge we already got it but if you're looking for that finger choil we will add it as always your ability to choose sharpened spine or unsharpened spine the type of finish jimping or no jimping your handle materials long or short handles on the case of the t17.5 whether you want that six inch blade the five inch blade or now that t17.4 with your three and a half inch cutting edge there will be an option here for you so all right guys thanks for stopping by i hope you like what you saw i hope you found it a little bit informative if you like what you saw please like share and subscribe and as always thanks for stopping by take care now i'll see you soon